So we have Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 running and we have the latitude, longitude and height extracted from the simulation using an ABI and that is being passed into the SatGen software which is creating 12 satellites and we can see those 12 satellites here on the Ublox GPS software and that's coming from the Labsat here which is receiving the SatGen data over USB and recreating the satellite signals on RF that is going to a splitter one side going into the Ublox which is the software you see there and the other side is going into a VBox which has a Ublox inside but this is Bluetooth paired to the iPad so we can see the position there live on the iPad so I will unpause the simulation and attempt to fly the plane with one hand and we'll fly towards the Millennium Dome and you can see on the uBlock software that is now plotting the path of the plane and then if we go back to the simulation you can see the path of the plane on the iPad and that's corresponding to the path of the simulator so we'll head over the dome just skirting the edge of it there you can see that plot on the U-blocks so I'll now do a sharp turn fly back over the dome. You see the path on the iPad and also on the GPS uBlock software. So heading back towards the dome. Level up, level up. And attempt to fly over the centre. Center. See there, new blocks data. And I'll drop back down. Fly on the river for a little bit. See the path being followed on the iPad.